But at least tonight at 7.30, we turn our attention to not real football, but more real than it was last week. Let's hope. And less, yeah, <laughs> and less real than it will be uh, when, this, when the season opens in three weeks. Yeah. And everybody's expecting a little bit more. I don't think anybody's expecting Hainsworth to, to show up yet, but they expecting a little Ocho Cinco maybe, uh, maybe a little Wes Welker, uh, maybe a little offensive line stuff, some more defensive line stuff. Shifting and whatnot, people want to see if the four three is going to be right. Something that's still going. There's still a lot of things to see. For those reasons, I think I think tonight, as meaningful as a preseason game can be, uh, has some meaning to it. Now, is it still pretend football? Yeah, I guess it is, but not for the ninety guys who are trying to avoid the cut to seventy five, and not for the next who are trying to make the fifty three man or fifty four man man roster. I think you're going to see some real stuff out there tonight. By all accounts, Brady took the vast majority of snaps in the walkthrough. Yep. Forty five minutes. It was Brady under center the most time, and I think Mallet got a couple of other snaps. Sounds like Hoyer's going to sit tonight, and so we will start to see the Tom Brady Ocho Cinco experiment in practice tonight. That's Absol- meaningful. Yeah, absolutely meaningful. And and I, if Tom gets fifty to sixty snaps in the preseason, that's plenty. Yeah, he's more than veteran enough to to be ready for a regular season with limited playing time. And and there's no need no need to get him any more than that. Just you know, dust off the cobwebs a little bit and get out there and get your timing down with a few other guys. Is there a personnel matter? that is going to play out tonight that leaves you a little bit nervous? Because there is for me. It appears that Matt Light and his shoulder aren't quite ready to go. Mm -hmm. And Matt didn't get a lot of reps in practice and probably won't play tonight. Tom Brady, as we just said, is probably going to play the first half of this football game, or at least the bulk of the first half. More than one series, I would suggest. Solder's going to be in there on his blind side for the first time against a young, aggressive Tampa Bay Buccaneer defense. That would make... I would think Bill Belichick, if not Tom Brady, a little bit queasy. It would have to. You're putting a guy who's gotten zero snaps in real NFL football, who played fine last week, mm-hmm. but that's the franchise out there. Yeah. And that's a franchise's blind side. If he's playing left tackle and, and uh, Tom Brady's going back to pass 14, 15 times, you know that somebody's holding their breath back there. They're, they're just watching because why wouldn't you? If you're A, you're a young guy on Tampa. You're saying, you know what, let me go out there and, and bring it and not worry about anything. Sometimes in the preseason when you're just trying to make a team, yeah. you worry less about your assignment and more about the result. Mm-hmm. And that can happen rather easily. And that can be something that you don't anticipate as a uh, uh, as a veteran in the in the league, maybe as a quarterback or as a uh, an offensive lineman or whatever. Y- y- in Guys pretty much stay within the scheme of what they're doing mm-hmm. defensively, and you got a pretty good book on that. Not that it's always easy to stop, but in the in the preseason, you've got guys that might not even know what they're doing that are just trying to get somebody to notice. Just them. kind of freelance. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and and for as well as Soldier acquitted himself in the Jacksonville game, the Jacksonville defense is not the Tampa Bay Buccaneer defense. True. A lot more aggressive, a lot more athletic, younger, and sort of like uh, uh, LT once said, crazed dogs out there. So that remains to be seen. And here's the other thing. Even if he does play well tonight, and you know as well as anybody, it only takes... One mistake. Right. You know? I mean, he can be out there for, what, 30 plays, 40 plays, and 39 of them are pretty good? Sure. Only one mistake, and somebody gets gets their head knocked off. And I'm sure Dante Scarnecchia would would tell us differently, but you looked at it last week, and there were no glaring mistakes. Yeah. There wasn't anything that jumped out at you and said, okay, th- this is ridiculous. So his first foray into, into the quasi-NFL world was fine. Yeah. But how much do you trust him? How much do you know that... Uh, that your franchise is there. I'd be surprised to see Tom play more than a quarter.